back to Banjo Tooie, or as I like to call it, the Stinky the Bird, or Stinky the Bear, and Butthole the Bird. Together, they form the ultimate team of Stinky Butthole, the amazing defender of justice. Stinky Butthole. It was first things first, we should race that Canary Mary. I haven't done this for forever, for what I understand, for what I remember is you have to mash like a motherfucker. They do the mash. They do the motherfucking monster mash. You just have to hammer A. Wait. There might be something where you have to beat your first time. Hi there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Ah, oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from smoking so much dip. Spending so long in that cage, how about a race to help me stretch them? Oh, this old hand caught him. Shit was broken when I last saw it. It was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track and stuff. You're pretty, you're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try jump aboard if you fancy go. <laughs> now I do the prospecting. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the hand cart along. I think you raised her twice and that the second time is harder. So I think I want to just beat him and not try to overdo it. Can I? Do we race? Fancy race. Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck. I'm not gonna be able to say much during this. And I also don't wanna beat her by a ton because I think you have to beat your own time later. Oh get this bitch! Oh shit. Double time, double time, double time. Fuck you, Mary! I like the cinematic cameras on this. Oh shit! Can't talk, can't commentate, must go quicker! There's a Jinjo! Get him later! I'm legit getting sweaty. Come on! Okay, I'm gonna coast a little bit here. I think we're near the end. Oh, don't wanna let her catch up. Okay, I'm glad. I coast a little bit in case I have to beat that time. I can hammer harder and still beat it. <sighs> bah, bah, bah. Crazy ass Mary. Well, I guess you can have this shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew. I'm not sure he wanted it then, that case. Whew. That was a fine race. I sure was, man. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Oh, is this the one where you have to beat your own time? I think you have to do this better than last time. Yeah, I think she gets faster. Wait a bit faster. Oh yeah, I can do the controller bounce into my hand. Fuck you, Mary! I legit can't ease up. Trying to do the bounce into my hand, so far it's working. 
Ooh. Fuck. Ooh. That's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my in my ass crack. I forgot to wipe. Disgusting. I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. <sighs> Off to soup and swear on the clouds. Bye bye friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Holy fuck. Yeah, this game has certain moments where the difficulty is fucking high. Fuck you! Whew. So, we didn't do mumbo stuff yet. Wumba probably did everything. I will go over here into the poison gas mine. The poison gas mine. We can do the drill attack. Fuck. I tried multiple techniques there to fucking do speed hammering. I even did the... I'm not especially good at it. Um, well, I mean, I haven't practiced that much where you bounce using your left hand to bounce it into your thumb. So you... The theory is you get double press... The double time of presses because you're bouncing it into it, but... I don't know. If you get the timing wrong, you could actually probably do slower with more energy. Oof. Fuck all in here. Get out of here before they die. Ooh, that's a way to start an episode. Getting a fucking race in a crazy chicken lady. Um, what was this thing? Anything that goes through the grinders will come in pieces, including chickies. This just had a honeycomb. Okay. I mean something. Oh. I think Is it this tunnel or the next tunnel? No, it's in between. Um, we'll run along the tracks, try to find that Jinjo, and then go to Mumbo's. Actually, isn't there a rock up here? Oh, that's wrong. Wait, there is, but on this side. Whatever the separator take me. Nope. Well, that's a help, so. So we can free Berta by going back into mayhem? I don't think we can go through this way. No, we can't go this way. We have to go back to the man, the Mayan man place. Um, get distracted from the, my own objective. Come back here. I'm so glad they put the lab, uh, the ledge grab in this game. Such a, I think that's integral part of pretty much any game, just because you know hitboxes, margin of error, all that shit. Just gives you a little second chance, or like the double jump. I realize some games could be finely tuned, so you don't need to worry about that as much, but I like it. 
gives you that extra chance. If you're still learning games, gives you that margin of error, and if you make a genuine goof, you can just quickly recover. I actually think in most platformers they should be a double jump slash ledge, ledge grab in both. That's just my opinion. I'm sure you, well, depends on the mechanics of the game really, I guess. But a game like this, I should say. Welcome again, bad bad. Before the Mumbo wanna eat it, I must give magic creature if Mumbo to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Give me delicious, I mean magic creature. Oh, sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's Halloween sack. Save for later. So there's the train. There's the train bit. There's the levitate the piece into the grinder. I want to say there's one other, but it might be misremembering. Mumbo can swim, he just can't dive. his own magic worked or not? Or is it the Globo that gives him all his powers? Ula? Oh, I'm having Star Wars flashbacks. It's all green and shit. And that clip through the texture. Activate that by running through. I think we can do it as. Can we do it as him? No, I don't think so. He doesn't have any way to activate it. Just his wand. Well, I might as well try it once to make sure. <laughs> nah, I need the fucking Baron Bird. Camera's freaking out here. I can't see shit, it is so hard. Train is on the other side of the level. There's a teleport pad that I think you can use. I just gotta assume I can't do anything there. Ah, uh, nuts. It sucks, only Banjo and Kazooie can warp. That's where I need to go for the, um... To get that Jinjo that you need with the TNT plunger. Uh, 
Why does he hope it works? Shouldn't he know? If the force taught us anything, that you gotta uh, believe in yourself. Size doesn't matter. It's in your head? I think it's in your head. That's the one that makes the most sense. The lighting effects are on the train. It's interesting. They have the static lighting effect, but yeah, no, it does enough. Especially considering the era. I'm free, free falling. What? Why did it reject him outwards? I didn't even jump. Whatever. Can't climb. Uh, I don't even think you can go in this tunnel. Can you? You cannot. Anything over here like a Jinjo? Nope. Shovel looks like it's just hanging against the wall, acting like a fucking. I'm a cool guy, shoveling cool all day. Bah! So, what is our count at right now? Six of ten. Back there. Can get Dilberta. Go back to the Mayan level. I feel like I've done everything in this main hub part. Mostly. Maybe need to go down these into the caves. Yeah, I must have to. rather easy. That should be finished, I think. We did this one in pretty much positive. Yeah, did this one. Oh, have to go to the crush room after this. Yeah. Talk to the fucking train and get the one from Delberta. 8 out of 10. Yeah, I'll probably just stick with 8 out of 10 and not bother. Yeah, the, I called these guys cactus cowboys earlier, but why do they come out of the ground if they're not, like, plants or some shit? just put them back together. There's nothing... You know, I don't think we have to... There's a second part to that quest. Eh. Not the way to crush her. It's the way to crush her.
Nope, not that one. Oh, I guess I can do that one. I think. Nope, fucking useless. Smashers? I think the Smashers I don't know. Maybe they'd help me do it because of it. Oh, the excitement mounts. <laughs> potato graphics. A potato rock getting potatoed in potato graphics. <laughs> it's one of those rabbit poops. the little cartoony bits that they add into a little detail. It only plays a third of it, because you only got a third of the puzzle. <laughs> Second one, which is by Mumbo's Hut. Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. I thought I was aimed at the. It jumped out and I. Whatever. No, I thought I did turn the camera there. Yeah, I like the little cartoony effects they added to the game to give it flavor. Just so much intricate detail to the animations, like when uh, Banjo gets his head squished. They just really sell the cartoony violence. I guess I'm most surprised is that they had got, well, I mean, I guess the animation obviously was capable of it back then, but still pretty impressive to see such, you know, the graphics are limited, but then the animations and the care, attention, and detail are there. Delbert out of there and call it an episode. I love the little characters you can be in each world. 
just adds a different flair to each level. That was something that was pretty common. Um, I'm not sure what established that. I guess there's, you could argue it's gone since, I don't know, things, games like Little Samson where you switch out characters, but what I mean is, um, in each world where you have another character, or like a sub-character like this where you can be, it's just for the world. Adds a little touch, adds a new mechanics to each map that you wouldn't see otherwise. Takes a... So I think adds a little bit of a unique flavor to each each map. Pretty cool. The spring shoes. I can't remember. I don't think you unlock them here. Could be wrong. Wait, one way would be can we check through here. Isle Hags one of four. That makes sense. Run the far glitter gulch. Okay. Oh, does it go down and then back up? Oh, can you save this guy now? First kid, don't play with I wonder if they just use the, the name Dilbert from that comic that comic strip and put an A on the end. How many other people do you know the name Dilbert? Or is that like a common British name and I don't even know about it? Maybe, who knows? No, it's here to the left. Yeah, it's here to the left. Oh. I guess they could have saved a few seconds because there's a teleport from to Wombas. Whatever. Jade Snake broke. No, I think it went the wrong one. Well, there's only one prisoner, but this is pretty big. Oh, reunite the fucking lovers. Eek, thanks very much for unblocking my passage. I swear the Jiggy hand it over, you plague ridden pest. Eek, you'll, you'll have to come and see my master, Bill. Bill. Master? Okay, maybe they are partners after all. And I don't mean the business partners, I mean the celebrity do kind. Oh. My rodent partner, Dilberta, is still missing. Funny. Funny you should say that. We had another look around and managed to find her. Oh, she was gone. Hi, honey. I'm home. She did call Master and called him honey. Dilberta, is that really you? I'm so happy you found my Dilberta. Take this tiny little gold nugget as a reward. Now that I have her, I don't need to put this thing in my butthole. She called him Master. He said, Honey. They're more than working partners. And he's the dominant one. She's a submissive. Well, I think I'm done making Banjo and Tui awkward. <laughs> Let these Starcross lovers have their, um... Thanks again, partner! Well, you have fun, you young crazy kids. Goddamn it, stop squeaking. And I think 
guys eight for ten. We'll call it there for now. Thank you very much for stopping by. Appreciate it greatly. And please subscribe if you haven't. It means a lot to me. I uh, make. I'm trying to upload. Well, I will be uploading one a day for quite a while now for the foreseeable future. So hopefully you're along for the ride. And uh, thank you very much. And peace.